Hi, I'm Jason. Welcome to my workshop. And it's been a while since I've been on here on YouTube because summer is upon us here in the Midwest. And I've had a lot of yard chores I needed to get to, but I'm anxious to get back here in the shop and start building some stuff again. So a question I see a lot on internet woodworking forums like Facebook and even Sawmill Creek, if you're not familiar with that message board, I'll put a link in the description below, especially if you're a beginning woodworker, that's a great place to get questions answered. But the question I see a lot is how do I heat and cool my shop? And I see all kinds of answers to that question. And I've actually used a few different methods for heating and cooling. I've had at least three other shops before this one. I had a pellet stove at one point, I've had gas heat, I even tried a small propane heater. But the best thing I've ever had is this thing that's running over my head. You can probably hear it right now. And that's my mini split system, which does cooling and heating for the shop. Right now it's cooling. You might be able to tell by my shorts today. Um, and it's terrific for that. And it keeps some of the humidity out of the shop. Although I do have to run a dehumidifier once in a while because it is the Midwest. And every now and then I'll open the garage door and I'll get a blast of moist, hot air in my shop and it settles on everything and rusts my tools and I don't want that to happen. So that usually stays on during the summer as well as the air conditioning. Now the other amazing thing about this is that it heats and I am in Minnesota in the Twin Cities area and if you know anything about Minnesota the winters are brutal. In fact one night it got down to 25 below here in the Twin Cities and this thing was able to keep my shop between 65 and 67 on the coldest day of the year, even though it was negative 25 outside, which is pretty incredible. Technology's come a long way with these things. So let's get up closer and I'll show you some more and tell you more about it. So mini split systems have been around for 40 years or more. And some of the better known brands are Mitsubishi, which has probably been around the longest. And this one's made by Lennox. I actually had this one installed by a pro. They came in and they sized it for my workshop to make sure that I didn't overcool it or overheat it or not have enough cooling and heating. And they did a nice clean job. There is a do it yourself option. There's one company called Mr. Cool that I know about. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested in going the do it yourself route. The nice thing is the line set comes pre-charged with refrigerant. So you don't have to hire a pro to come out with a vacuum pump and take care of all that for you. But I chose to spend quite a bit more money and have this done, and I'm really glad I did. This is actually a fantastic unit. Like I said, it's good down to about 20 or 25 degrees below zero. And on the hottest days of the year, it does a fantastic job of cooling and also does have some drying capability as well. So uh, I'll give you some of the bells and whistles. So there's a flap here that sort of opens and closes and it causes the air pattern to go up and down. And then these louvers inside also go left to right. So it's sending the air this way and this way, which is really nice, if, especially if you've got a larger size shop and you need that air to reach farther into the shop. Speaking of which, there are two ways you can set this as far as the thermostat's concerned. There is a thermostat built into this and you can set it for the temperature you want it to kick on. And it does a pretty good job. But it might be cooler where I'm standing now, which is close to the head on this thing, and it might be hot or cold over near where the garage door is, which is the extreme opposite end of my shop. So what they've done is there's a remote control that comes with this, but it's got a built-in temperature sensor on it. So I can hit the button on it that says, follow me, and I can take this remote, put it wherever I want in the shop, and it takes its temperature setting there instead of over here. And so what it'll do is it'll blow that air and it'll keep running longer so that it's warmer or cooler on the other side of the shop. It's pretty cool. The only downside to it is you have to make sure that this thing is laying horizontally and that it's pointing right at the head, the air handler unit on the wall. Otherwise it won't work. If you put this in the cradle on the wall and it's facing up this way, the, the sensor, it won't talk to the head unit here and uh, it just won't do what you want it to do. So definitely a cool feature. It's also got, it's got heating and cooling modes. It's also got a drying mode. Now, the problem I had with the drying mode 
is it, it just runs and runs and runs. And it does get the humidity out of the air. The only problem is it makes the garage freezing cold while it's doing that. I walked in here one day and it was on dry mode and it had it down to 62 degrees in here, which is a little cool for me, even in the heat of summer. So I went and I purchased the dehumidifier and it does a great job. And I just leave this on regular air conditioning mode set at 72 degrees, which is what I've got it set at right now. It's also got built-in timers. Um, it's got uh, a turbo function, which is really cool. So if I walk in and it's a little bit cool on the coldest nights, I can hit turbo and it just runs this thing at full blast until I start to feel comfortable in the shop. And then it goes back into its regular heating or cooling mode. So the three main components are the head unit, which is the air handler part of the system. On the outside, uh, on the opposite side of this wall is the noisy part of the system, which is the compressor unit and all the condensate and everything drains on the outside of the wall too, so that it's not making a wet mess in here. And the third part of the system is the remote control. Like I mentioned, this has a temperature sensor on it and you just place it anywhere in the shop you want. So one question I read a lot about these from woodworkers is, will this clog with sawdust? Not really. It's got two filters inside and as you can see, they're pretty clean. They do get dirty. You pop them out like this. So it's pretty clean on this side, but as I pull it down, you can see that this one actually needs cleaning. You can uh, take compressed air, take this outside, just blow it out or use a shop vac, or usually I just stick it in my utility sink and rinse it off, shake it out and I stick it right back in. And then putting it in, it's fairly easy-ish. You've got to thread the needle a little bit to get it back in there, but it's not that big a deal. And honestly, I think I clean it once or twice a year. I've got good dust collection in here. I've got an ambient, air cleaner, and I've usually got dust collection connected at whichever tools I'm using. And I keep the shop pretty clean too, so. So definitely recommended, but like I said, there are other options for mini split units out there. I encourage you to take a look online and maybe give that Mr. Cool uh, option a look as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you will and like this video and you'll be notified anytime I've got a new video posted and I've got another project in the hopper looking to build something for my wife or outside on the patio. So we'll see you soon.